so for question uh, 15-19, a brittle material has the property uh, ultimate tensile, I mean, sorry, ultimate tension is 30, uh, ultimate uh, compression stress is 90 kilo pounds per square inch. Using the brittle uh, Coulomb moral and modified moral theory, a determine the factor of safety for the following states of plane stress. So I've listed the two tables, right, for uh, brittle Coulomb and the modified moral. So Coulomb moral for brittle and ductile is the same, uh, but it's just the, the only difference is if you're using for brittle, right, as I talked about, brittle is for ultimate and, and uh, uh, ductile is yield. So if you're using yield tension, then in this case, it's ultimate tension, right, stress. So yeah, you just replace basically the Y with a U, right? Yield uh, with ultimate. And for modified, you know, we'll get to it. But you know, as long as you just plug into the numbers into, like you've plug into it, uh, find the exact cases, use the equation to find the factor of safety, which is basically it's, it's, it's straightforward, right? So we can start with A and uh, I list it as Coulomb moral and uh, modified moral theory, right? So um, for A, X and Y, but there's no shear stress given, which means it's zero. So if shear stress is zero, then we know that it's already in principle state that, uh, that the one that we're giving stress X and stress Y is uh, stress A and stress B, right, respectively. Uh, in this case, then we know that A and B are both bigger than zero, which is case A, right? For the brittle Coulomb more. Uh, in this case, then SUT divided by stress A, that's going to give us the N, which SUT is 30 and stress A, well, it's 25, right? 30 divided by 25, that's going to give us 1.2. Uh, for this one as well, x, this statement still applies. Uh, so this is a bigger than b and bigger than zero, right? Both of these are bigger, bigger than zero. So, well, same procedure, right? SUT over stress a equal to n, n equals 1.2, right? Nice and easy. Okay, let's uh, move on to b, cm, mm, right? Cool on more and uh, modify more. So for this one as well, stress, uh, shear stress is not given, so we know that it's zero, so it's in the principal state. Um, so stress X equals stress A, the principal stress, and then stress Y equals stress B, principal stress, right? Um, which one of the one is bigger than zero, one is smaller than zero, right? So which is uh, case two in this case. So we we'll use stress A, Right over SUT, uh, sorry, ultimate uh, tension stress minus principal stress B and divided by ultimate compression stress equals one over N, right? A is 15, uh, B is, stress B is negative 15, uh, SUT is 30, and uh, ultimate compression stress is 90, right? So if you plug everything in, your N in the end uh, should give you uh, 1.5, All right, should give you 1.5. And uh, this one, let's see, this one uh, still applies, like this statement still applies. Uh, one is bigger than zero, one is smaller than zero, which is between case two and case three, right? So you have, the next thing that set them apart is, you know, who's bigger, right? So if we use stress A, sorry, stress B divided by stress A, uh, in this case, it's it's 15 over 15, which is one. And in this case is, uh, is this one, it's uh, case two, right? Case two still use the equation from case one. So it's still ultimate t uh, tension stress, divided by stress A gives you N, and uh, N in this case, which is 30 divided by uh, 15, it's two, 
right? It's two. Okay. Moving on to C. Uh, moving on to C. So C is um, we're giving shear stress, right? And we're giving uh, x. So we know that this is not in a principal state. So which means we have to use the transformation equation. Uh, I'm gonna write it up here, right? Stress a b principal uh, equals x plus y divided over two plus or minus square root of x minus y divided by two squared and plus uh, shear stress squared, right? Okay, so in this case, we just plug these, these thing in, right? 20 for here, zero for y, and a shear for negative 10. So your principal stress, after you plug everything in, uh, should give you a equals 24 and uh, b equals negative four, right? KPSI uh, for both. Okay, so in that case, we know that one is positive, bigger than zero, one is smaller than zero. So for for the um, uh, Coulomb more, that is case two, right? That is case two, which is stress A over SUT minus stress B. That ultimate compression stress equals one over N. You plug everything in, um, it should give you for n equals 1.17. And then for modified more, this is still, one is bigger than zero, one is smaller than zero. Um, again, we have to use this equation. So negative four, uh, well, it's absolute value. So four divided by 24, obviously that is one over six, that's smaller than one, um, which is, it's uh, still case one, right? This is smaller, smaller than one. So this is still case one and we still use uh, this, sorry, case two, which we use the case one equation. Uh, so N equals ultimate uh, tension stress divided by stress A, which is uh, 30 uh, divided by 24. That should gives you 1.24. Right, n equals 1.24. Okay, for uh, D, again, this is not a principal stress, so you have to use the transformation equation. You plug everything in here. Um, your principal stress A should be something like 17, and then stress B equals negative 22, right? Negative uh, 22. So for cool, Coulomb more, uh, this is one is bigger than zero, one is smaller than zero, case two again, right? Stress A. So what is stress A? Stress A in this case is 17 over 30 minus negative uh, 22 over 90, right? This is one over N and is um, 1.23, okay? And more, so I'm gonna write it on the side. Uh, modify more. One is bigger than zero, one is smaller than zero. Uh, let's do this. So negative 22 over 17 absolute value. So this is bigger than one, right? This is bigger than one. So now we have to use case three. Let me erase this so we don't have any confusion. So for this one, we have to use case three, right? So for case three, uh, it's a huge equation. Um, as you, as you, um, Ultimate compression stress, so that is 90 minus 30 times 17, right? Principal stress A divided by 90 times 30, right? And minus principal stress B, that is negative 22 over ultimate compression stress, that is um, 90, right? Equals one over N. And N, if you do your calculation correctly, in the end, uh, it gives you about 1.6. Right, it gives you 1.6. Okay, last one, E. Um, again, all of these still not principal stress state. Put it into the transformation chain equation for your stress, principal stress A, you would get um, 
negative 5. Principal stress B, you get a negative 35. Okay, so both of these are smaller than 0. So this is uh, for Coulomb more. That is case 3, right? So in this case, it's negative uh, ultimate compression divided by stress B equals N. N equals um, uh, 90 negative 90 divided by negative 35. That is uh, 2.57 and modified more again both of these are smaller than zero so we can just use this uh o b divided by n same equation same procedure uh n equals 2.57 and uh that is it for this equation uh for this question so yeah just remember brittle and uh ductile the coulomb more is calculation is the same just replace the yield with the ultimate yield for um, yield for ducktail and ultimate for brittle and then for modified just uh, remember that when this is smaller than one then you use the first case equation uh, yeah it's just plug and chug it's tedious it's time consuming but um, it's not that hard right in terms of algebraically and for Coulomb more which is you have to know this graph, right? This is, for example, if this is zero, uh, one, one is the circle is here, one is here, and then one in the middle, right? You get smaller and smaller. And then for modified, it's just like this whole thing gets bigger. I don't know. It's in the book. Um, I'm not gonna go through the proof of it. Um, you can go through the concept. Um, once you're in the book, but generally it's that idea, right? We're trying to modify it so uh, we can be less conservative, right? Um, and that is what we're trying to do, pushing the limit, right, as engineers, you know, to have lowest factor of safety possible, yeah, having the highest and still have the highest uh, uh, chance of survivalness or, or highest rate of safety. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. Uh, good luck on your studies, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.